Hello there, welcome to this new exciting video tutorial. In this one, we'll be creating the iPhone. So I'm inspired by the iPhone X. So I got a request saying do a video series on how I can actually make a smartphone and add HDRIs. Sounds fun. I decided let's do it. And here it is. So let's jump right in. All right, so let's start first by adding our reference image. So let's, below the escape button, there's a button. If you push it, you actually get these. So let's go to the front side. Shift A on the keyboard. Let's bring in the reference image. I'll bring in the front image. So if you select down here, you actually get these options. Uh, remove it from perspective. Then you can only be seeing it beside front. So you just put the front here. Let's see. So when I remove that, I'm unable to see it from the other side. Whenever I go to the front, I'll be able to see it. And let's do the same. Let's go to the back. Load in the reference image for the back. It's right there. We'll do the same. This, this, and remove the perspective, displaying perspective. So let's bring in the image for the right side. Reference. So this one should be which one this one here should be the one for this side so let's just zoom in if i leave this on let me just go to the other images let's go to the front if i can just display the perspective so that i can see so this button goes together with this button here okay now i can remove that and this one as well and let's go to the left side and let's go to the bottom let's load in the reference for the bottom let's just turn this off so this one remove from perspective which one else this one okay so we are done with uh we are done with the reference images now it's time to start so we'll go first to the back with this one let's bring in a plane it's on the ground it's on the ground let's bring in the rotation so you can actually rotate from here hold down control and then just rotate it so you can put it at 90 degrees let's go to the right side me looking at my plane it should be right here let's go to the back view let's go to edit mode you can just push tab or you can switch it from here so select this and let's get the move to so you make sure it hits all the sides and now control r on the keyboard you can start from here you can make a loop cut here here For a start, let's move this here. How I'm going to do this is, let me just divide this. Let me make a loop cut. So make a loop cut, then push your right mouse button. And once you do that, let's select the whole side, this side. And we're going to delete this face into the modifier. So make sure I move out of edit mode and get a mirror. So whatever I do, on one side will actually happen on the other side so you can enable this so that you can actually see your points on the other side so let's go back to the back view so let's go to the middle so let's select these points and hold down control and just move them to the meet on the middle that looks okay let's go to the back Let's make more loop cuts. Let's make one more here and one more here. So control R. Okay. And let's go to the bottom. Okay, loop cuts. Okay, so say you don't like how one line is actually 
sitting you can just double click on it and then move it let's move out of edit mode so we're in object mode and let's get rid of the x-ray this is already something good just apply the mirror and let's go to the back again let's go edit mode and select the whole edge all around push e for extender s to stretch it out let's go to the side the right side and get the move to and let's move this like that let's just add the sub division modifier let's add say two three okay that looks good and go back into object mode and smoothen this and we have the back of the phone made so now we'll need to create the middle part and let's go into the edit mode and the right side so edit mode here select these go around push t on the keyboard to create a new uh, plane so this would be a ring on its own let me just show you so that's what we have let's escape let's go to the right side and now we need to follow this shape here to here we push extender just drag this so let's turn on x-ray so that we can see where our stuff is moving to. well we'll be going in the y axis so you can push y on the keyboard at this point let's go to the back make this big say push s and extend we can actually do this with the actual so let's just move in uh, to the right side notice we've reached there you extend again in the y let's stretch extend again in the y this time we'll be shrinking it taking it back in so i'm still selecting this end part let's go to the back let's see if it needs any stretching in the side seems to me like that part is okay the part that i actually need to deal with is this one so notice it has reached the top part here but in the sides it's still far from the edge okay now we've reached the edge so let's just see how this looks like let's turn off x-ray and if i leave edit mode let's go back into edit mode and let me just hide the first plane so let me select this so that it just looks a bit more roundish let me go to the right side let's, see. let's stretch this the top looks okay but i feel like the side needs a bit of some work so let's go to the f the back and let's go into edit mode so let's stretch this out okay so we have uh, these i don't know if you notice these things that have actually come up so with these let's go into edit mode select everything all the faces push a on the keyboard and shift n and let's go back so these have gone so the faces we are facing up they were facing the wrong side so we just made them face the right direction let me go back to this to this line let me just stretch it a bit a bit more okay let me go back that looks good okay so you can select this and shade smooth let's uh, go back into edit mode select this first front face actually let's go to the back extend push s to stretch 
so we'll stretch it in just a little bit extend again and we have this this crease that we've actually made here so let's bring back this plane the plane that we made at first actually extrudes it protrudes around here so this is where i want to make some changes so let's go into edit mode so for a start let's make a loop cut right here and let's just drag it way back here let's double click on the outer edge and push s and then just stretch it in we can actually select all and stretch it in as well okay so let's see how this actually looks like let's get out of edit mode and let's check out the bottom looks good an object push the dot on the number pad just to see everything can actually move this part in front just a little bit yeah okay that's the one that's it right there that looks good